Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see 8-bit ALU and its truth table, Verilla code and let's write the test bench and simulate it and let us look into the waveforms also. Here you can see the block diagram of 8-bit ALU. Once we say it is 8-bit ALU, this ALU device is going to perform operations on 8-bit values. Means our inputs A and B are 8 bits. That's why I have taken A as a vector 7 down to 0. B also 7 down to 0. It means this is 8 bit, this is also 8 bit. Similarly, output will also be taken as 8 bits. That's why here 7 is to 0 ALU output. For this ALU, we need to choose the opcode. I have taken it as ALU select. This can be opcode of this ALU. And this opcode size will be depending on the different operations this ALU is going to perform. As we know, generally arithmetic and logical operations are going to be performed by ALU. Here I have taken it as 3 is to 0. It means the opcode is of 4 bits. Means starting from 0, 0, 0, 0 up to 1, 1, 1, 1, I can assign value for opcode. So it totally takes 15 values. It means 15 different operations this ALU is going to perform. That's why I have taken it as 3 is to 0. If you want to perform only 4 operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and some logical operations such as AND operation. If you want to implement an ALU to perform only 4 operations then you can take upcode with 2 bits. So it will take 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 values for each and every operations each opcode is going to be written. This is how we can choose the opcode in ALU. If you look at the truth table here, are the opcode and the operation 0000 corresponds to addition. Similarly, 0001 for subtraction. Similarly, as it goes up to 1111. Here you can see these are arithmetic operations and these are shifting operations and also rotation. And these are logical operations carried by ALU. The corresponding opcode is given over here. And let us write the Verilog code for this. In the Verilog design, as we know, we need to first write the module keyword and then we need to list out the input and output ports and we need to define those. The input and output declarations and the port list can be mixed within the port definition itself. So here I have used that method. I have declared all the inputs here and also I have defined which are all the input and outputs. And here I am writing the code in behavioral description. That's why my output will also be represented as register. And then after I need to write always at star. Here always at star representing I am taking all the inputs into consideration at the sensitivity list. Means when A is going to change or B changes or ALU select changes, this always block has to execute. That's why I am using star here. This includes all the inputs. Otherwise, in place of star, I can also write after at the rate as A comma B comma ALU select. This is also makes the same thing. Otherwise, I can write it as ALU star. This includes all the sensitivity list inputs. So after always begin, I'm going to use case statement here, case ALU select for different values of ALU select. You can see here, 4 tick B 0, 0, 0, 0, ALU result will be equal to A plus B. Here I am doing addition operation for 0, 0, 0, 0 upcode. For 0, 0, 0, 1, it is subtraction. Similarly, for 0, 0, 1, 0, it is multiplication. But here I am commented this, why? Because here I have taken 7 is to 0 for ALU result means it will go maximum 8 bit but if you do the multiplication it requires 16 bit output so I am not doing multiplication here why because it will not give the accurate result if you want to perform multiplication then you need to define output as 15 is to 0 so that it will support 16 bits so for the next up code it is division then logical shift logical right shift, rotate left and rotate right. You can see here for rotate left, 
I am just using a concatenation with rotation in the MSB. Once you rotate left what happens, all the bits are going to be shifted to left and the bit at the MSB will be come to LSB. That's why I am using this concatenation operation. Similarly to rotate right, I am using the same method where the LSB will be come to MSB. Once we rotate right, one bit. And for the next half course, you can see some logical operations and we need to write the default finally. Default result is 8 bit X I am assigning here and then end case end end module. This is the ALU Verilog design. For this I am going to write the test bench. In the test bench inputs are represented as register, output become wire and here I am instantiating the design block with all these input and outputs. Initial begin, here I am just writing one op code that is 0000, 0, 0, 0 to check the addition and I am taking three set of different values for AB and I am going to check my ALU is going to perform addition correctly. If you want to check subtraction in place of this you need to write it as 0001 and you can check all the operations of ALU by writing separate initial block initial within begin and end you need to write all the op codes means alu underscore select is equal to starting it is 4 tick b 0000 and then again with the delay some delay of 10 time units alu select will be equal to 4 tick b 0001 similarly by giving delay and also different set of alu select you can go up to 4 tick b 1111 with the okay 1111 with the different values so this gives the complete alu result for all the different operations but here for the simulation purpose i have taken only addition so let us simulate this and look at the outputs you can see here this is my eda playground where i have using the same design code here and also the test bench which i have written over here this is my test bench code and as you can see here alu select is 0000 this is for addition i am checking addition and a b values are like this i have taken a initially as 1111 and b as 0000 it means a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 0 initially after 50 time minutes here i am taking a is equal to four ones four zeros and b is equal to four zeros four ones means a value is 240 in decimal and b value is 15 and then after 50 time minutes a value is maximum i have given that is 255 and b also taken as maximum 255 with these values i am going to run this code and also i have used monitor statement here you can see this monitor statement is going to display the values so you can see here in the log at zero time unit for a is equal to 255 and b is equal to zero and op code is zero means i am performing addition so 255 plus zero it gives 255 so addition is working correctly similarly after 50 time minutes i am given one more set of values 240 plus 15 again for addition it is giving 255 240 plus 15 it is 255 Similarly, at 100 time units, I have given 255 plus 255. Here, ALU result is 254. Why? Because here it requires a 1 bit extra carry. So, I have taken only 7 is to 0 here. Even addition requires 1 bit extra for carry. So, carry bit is not there. So, it is displaying only the lower 8 bits. So, this is also correct. So, let me check by giving 8 is to 0 here. If I give 8 is to 0 here, here also I need to make the change at the output, it is 8 is to 0. Similarly for the register. Now I am going to save this and now I am going to run this. You can see here now it is 255 plus 255 for this value ALU result is 510 it is the addition of these two 
this is how we can verify for the waveform you can click over here open ep wave after run and i am running again now it is opening you can see the waveform this is a this is b let me take it upwards and this is alu select that is up code and this is alu result it is repeated here again a alu result alu select and b is repeated you can see first four here i have taken a as ff it is in hexadecimal if you want you can convert that into binary now i have taken 1111 for b and alu select is zero for addition you can see the result as 1111 that is addition result similarly here you can see for the different set of values for 1111000 i am adding with 15 that is 1111 here also again it gives alu result as 255 1111 and you can go here after 100 time minutes you can see You can see here now after 100 time minutes the ALU value that is ALU result is 510 that is in binary. So this is how you can verify using waveform and I have given this link in the description you can directly use this link and to run this code using ADA Playtown. Thank you.